<laughs> he released her again. <laughs> and he's taking her out to dinner. <laughs> Every paper in Paris has the story. <laughs> Including the Christian Science Monitor. And he gave them the story. You see, he claims she's protecting her lover. And the best way to force him into the open is to make him jealous. <laughs> jealous. That nincompoop, that megalomaniac. He's setting the science of criminal investigation back a thousand years. And I can't do anything about it. Why not? Why not? What if he's right? <laughs> what if he is? I'm finished, washed up. <laughs> Sanity and reason become things of the past. Madness reigns. <laughs> Just relax. Relax? <laughs> With clues all loose in the world? You go about uh, offering irresponsible suggestions like that, Doctor, and you better find yourself a good analyst. <laughs> now, just lie down. Just lie down and relax. And relax. <laughs> Don't you think I want to relax? Don't you think I'd give my right arm for a good night's sleep? <laughs> I haven't closed my eyes in three days. <laughs> I've only eaten a chicken leg and some clear broth since Wednesday. <laughs> yes, I'm cracking up. <laughs> Coming apart at the seams. <laughs> Look at my eye. I used to have a perfectly good eye. My two eyes, I mean. No, Doctor, there is no hope. There is no hope unless I can get rid of Clouseau. <laughs> I must get rid of Clouseau. <laughs>